I live and breathe off the FIFA games. I love them so much, I've bought every single game on release date ever since the first FIFA was released by EA in 1993. I still own all of my games in fact, all of the PlayStation consoles, most people tend to donate their old FIFA games or destroy them when they go out of date. But not me, I simply collect them. I understand the games never age well, but it's always nice to put in an old game and scour through the teams from different seasons. And even play a few matches. Some people prefer the way older games are played since EA are always adding new graphical or gameplay brush-ups with every game that's released, but sometimes it's always good to go back to the original, right? Well. As I st stated before, I've been able to buy every game on release date ever since the first game, but unfortunately not this year. It's always so popular these days that it gets sold out so quickly in typical retail stores and everybody forms a line to get the game. Sadly, for the first time in years, I was one of the unlucky folk who got left out of getting a copy. The only place I could get my new games was in an Asda supermarket. I don't drive, so it's hard for me to go to the nearest game in town and buy it from there. Fortunately, that's a small game shop near where I live in Uxbridge, London, who are able to sell games. I never used to go there since all it ever sold was used games or older FIFA games. So after failing to get the game at Asda, I decided to walk over to the shop. Before I even walk inside, I noticed a bright orange piece of paper stuck to the shop window that read FIFA 15 out now, purchase here. I couldn't believe my luck. I was pretty puzzled that people weren't buying the game here, as well as seeing it was on the release day, but I just thought I'd go inside. After chatting to the shop owner for five minutes, he handed me a copy of copy of FIFA 15 on the PS4 and I paid for it. When I look at the cover of the game I notice that Lionel Messi wasn't there, it was only Eden Hazard. But what the hell, FIFA is FIFA at the end of the day and I wasn't going to be bothered by the cover art, all I was thinking about was going home and playing some new FIFA. Now as every FIFA player should know, there's lots of things you're able to do on the newer FIFA games, seasons mode, create a tournament, a career mode. But one mode I loved playing the most was Ultimate Team. I loved the idea of starting a brand new starter team, all bronze, playing online matches to achieve coins, selling players and buying players, improved players, and I don't even get me started on the pack opening. I've seen so many famous YouTubers opening packs of their videos that are hilarious, and I watch religiously. Pack opening is probably the most fun way of getting players because you just never know what you're going to get. So as you would expect, the first thing I did on FIFA 15 was to start a brand new ultimate team. It was a little laggy at first when going through the menus, but here I'm sure a lot of people have had to deal with lag on FIFA, courtesy of EA fucking up the servers, right? So I went through the procedures of naming my team and getting my starter pack and before I knew it I was at the home page of the ultimate team. The first thing I did was play one online match with my new bronze team. The matchmaker put me up against a guy who had a full silver team and I lost 5-1. After this, I came to the conclusion that I needed better players, so rather than go to the transfer market and buy someone, since I had very little coins, I opted to pay for around 500 FIFA coins. And I chose to open a few packs. What happened next filled me with so much euphoria, I could simply hit the roof with joy. The first pack I opened, I got a 95 rated Lionel Messi. I was ecstatic, I couldn't believe it, I was shaking, I mean I've played Ultimate Team on the previous games and not only have I never got any world class gold players but I've never been privileged to own probably the best player in the game. And to get that in my first ever pack felt more sweet. I opened the rest of the packs quickly as I was eager to get back to my squad screen and add Messi to my starter team. After 5 or so minutes I... Finally built a team using all the players I was able to get in my packs with much chemistry as 
I was fully able, and more importantly, I had Messi as a lone striker. I started to play online, but instead of playing a normal friendly game, I decided to jump into online seasons. I couldn't wait to start owning people with the newly acquired Lionel Messi, but for the first match, I was put up against a fully gold Barclays Premier League team. The game ended up with me winning 1-0 and Messi getting the goal. As the game ended, to go back to the main Ultimate Team page, I noticed again that there was a lot of lag and it took longer to load than normal. I thought that seemed a little strange, however once I got back I went to make changes to my formation, as I did work hard to get the earlier win. When I got back to the squad screen however, there was things started to get very odd. Because I had recently got the game and this was a brand new team I'd started up, you normally have Martin Tyler, the commentator, give the tutorials on how to add consumer cards to your players, aimed at the first time players mainly. At the squad screen however, I had Martin Tyler inform me that one of my players was getting tired, which was completely impossible since I had only played one game with my entirely new team and every game you play at least three or four fatigue is taken off for each player card but what really turned my attention was the fact that this player in question happened to be messy i was freaked out at this point i was merely perplexed at this because nothing like this had ever happened before when i played ultimate team i opted to look this problem up on the internet and uh, go to the usual ultimate team websites but i was too lazy to do that luckily I had a couple of fitness cards that I had pulled from packs I had opened earlier. Once I found a card, I immediately applied it to Messi, and lo and behold, his fitness was back on 99. I then played my next game of the season. And this time, it was a 2-2 draw. I was 2-0 up, and my opponent got back at me with two goals. Messi got both of the goals again. I attempted to return to the main menu of Ultimate Team, but instead of returning, I got a message that pops up saying that I have got kicked out by EA. I understand that everybody has the problem of being kicked out of Ultimate Team because of the server issue at the other end. So, when this happened, I was too phased at this. However, when I loaded up Ultimate Team from the starter menu I, to log back in, that's when I started noticing very nasty things. Firstly, it took me at least 10 minutes loading time to get back into Ultimate Team. During this time, I was growing frustrated, was not able to log in at all. Mostly, if it takes too long to log onto the EA servers, you get a message that pops up informing you that this will take you back to the main FIFA menu. But this generally took me entire 10 minutes to get in, which seems weird. Finally, when I was able to get back to the Ultimate Team to view my squad, I went to check Messi's fitness, and it had gone down from 99 just to 5. Why the fuck is this happening, I thought to myself. It didn't make any sense. Why was my Messi card having an entire fitness depleted after just one game? I sat there for a few minutes pondering it over worryingly and thinking it through. Came up with a solution to just put him on the subs bench for a couple of games just so his fitness could go up that way. I couldn't afford to use up any other fitness card at this point. So... I got into the next game of the seasons and played against a guy who was at first of all trying to perform the KSI glitch annoyingly. At half time I was losing by 2-0 and as I grew more infuriating I opted to bring Messi on to try and put the game in my favour. Then I noticed something even stranger than before. As I went to select Messi to bring him on I saw that he wasn't even there. As soon as I went out of the team management to get back to the game, surprised at what I just noticed, I immediately disconnected from my opponent and I was taken back to the main Ultimate Team menu, with the load time taking much longer than before. I was starting to get a little uneasy about the whole ordeal. I couldn't help but wonder if someone had miraculously hacked my account somehow. With this in mind, I decided to log into the EA servers to change my password, which I did with no problem at all. I logged out of the ultimate team 
and then again using a new password I chose and the load time was actually quick. I immediately went back to the squad screen again in hopes that the messy card would show up there, but he wasn't at all. He wasn't anywhere. Not even in my 11, not even on the subs bench. Not in the reserves. I went to use the search option to look for all the players in my club, and along with a huge list of players that showed up, I found him, and he was the last card in my pile. My first intention was to try and sell him as I thought getting at least 2 million coins for him wouldn't be bad going and I could build a completely new team, but I noticed he was an untradeable item. And the quick sell option had been greyed out. Both his contract and his fitness numbers were set to zero and he was deemed unplayable. There was no way of getting rid of this messy card. He was stuck there. I grew tired of having to worry about stupid card that I wasn't able to get rid of, so the next best thing would be to go into another online game. But as I pressed the start button at the squad screen before connecting to a match, a message box popped up saying, you cannot continue, Messi is dead. I pushed myself backwards, I seriously began to panic. I'd never seen a message pop up like this before, so you can imagine why I reacted the way I did. More to the point, I never would have thought that FIFA would disallow me from playing someone online just because of one lousy player card that I somehow discarded when I didn't discard it. How could I when the quick sell option was greyed out? After receiving this disturbing message, my game froze completely. At this point I was breathing heavily and my heart was pounding. The only activity I could do was to use my head to ponder over what I had just witnessed. I couldn't think of anything. My mind was just too blank to think. After taking a deep breath, composing myself, I turned my PS4 console off and then on again and loaded up FIFA 15. It wasn't too long until I discovered something upon reaching the main menu of the game that scared me for life. Before the start menu appeared showing Lionel Messi there, there was some blue and red static and the screen went black for a mere 20 seconds. I was greeted with an extremely creepy looking image of Messi's face. His eyes were black with red trickling from underneath and I heard a loud screeching noise that sounded almost like a man screaming and suffering. As soon as this happened, I was taken to the ultimate team straight away. No main menu popped out at all. Another message popped up, reaching the menu, which said again, Messi is dead. The creepiness didn't stop there. Suddenly, I noticed the name of my team changed from the same phase, and also my win-loss record underneath were all losses. There was no team badge. I was growing more and more terrified at this point where I couldn't move at all. I just, I couldn't pick up the controller and make a selection. I was trembling in fear. I was like this for about 10 minutes until I gained enough energy to try and connect to the game again. And just like before, it wouldn't let me connect. Instead, another image popped up saying Messi is dead because of you. I tried again and again, the same message kept popping up. Around about the 20th try, I was finally able to connect, and at this point I'd hoped everything would finally go back to normal. I was wrong. Once the game had got into the match, my opponent took centre. I couldn't control any of my players, they just stood there. I watched as my opponent scored the first goal against me, through no fault of my own. As I went to take center after the goal had been scored every one of my players fell down lifeless on the ground all in their own puddles of blood another message immediately popped up saying you did this i was disconnected from my opponent yet again after seeing this horrific showing and i was forcibly taken back to the ultimate team main menu curiosity got the better of me as i directed myself to check my squad screen all of my player cards were dark red colour. The number rating of each card were at zero. All stats were zero, as well as the contract and fitness. All portraits for the cards were now grey. Upon reaching the squad screen, another message popped up saying, Look at what you have done. 
Your whole team is dead because of you. Upon selecting the striker position of my team where Messi would have been, the same creepy image of Messi appeared on my screen and same screech happened again. Except after the screech, I'd started to hear the sound of men moaning, suffering, and getting tortured. My game froze again. I turned the PS4 off once this had happened and immediately took out the FIFA 15 disc and destroyed it in any brutal way I was able. My mind had been torn. I didn't know what to think at this point. I was mortified at this experience, but I breathed a sigh of relief knowing that it would probably never see anything like that again. Seeing as it was nearly time for bed, it was around 3am at this point since the game's release was around 1am in the morning. I decided to go to sleep. It was shortly after that I could hear a faint whispering around my room, chanting the words, Messi is dead. At the moment, the same image of Messi showed up on my TV screen again, even without the disc. No screeching occurred, just faint chanting in the background. For the rest of the night, I chose not to sleep. I simply stayed awake. I wouldn't dare to, what with the, all the experiences that I had encountered. The following days seemed normal after that. The fact that I was shook up after last night's freak show was an understatement. My immediate state of mind was to go to the nearest charity shop and donate all of my FIFA games. My mind was set on never playing another FIFA game again. I'm writing this because I don't have any other place to put it. And if I explain this story to my parents or close friends, they'll never believe me. They'll just laugh. I'm thinking of getting the latest Pez when it comes out. But right now, nothing will ever scar me for life the way Messi did. Maybe it's for the best that I just play a Call of Duty games, because at least they won't scare me. At least maybe for a while. So, there we have it, guys. That right there was a creepy pasta story and probably one of the rare creepy pasta stories that you can actually find on anything football related and um, if you don't know what a creepy pasta is it's basically like it's sort of to do with games and and stuff like that you know it can be gaming it can be other stuff you know there's a lot of creepy pastas out there um you do tend to get a lot of gaming ones though and um it's basically something that's people have just kind of made up and to be honest i kind of i kind of like this one you know what i mean how would you ever make like a creepy pasta with with fifa or pez or something like that i do kind of like by the way how it ends up um right right in the last paragraph it, it says uh, i'm thinking of buying the latest pez it all it all boils down to him giving up fifa and uh, going for the latest pez game so uh yeah but um yeah to be honest i kind of i kind of like how it is i mean a lot of these creepypastas do have um uh, a lot of cliches and stuff like that you know like the screen you know turning black or whatever you know or you, you you see like for example you saw messy with like blood dripping out of his eyes and all that stuff the, the thing is it was a good creepypasta but the thing that kind of ruined it for, for me in the end was messy's face kind of showed up on the on the tv right at the end and that's the kind of the unrealistic thing that kind of killed it for me at the end like i like creepy pastas that are a little bit more realistic in my opinion um you know what i mean it could have been maybe something to do with i don't know like maybe you could still kind of like you know see the image of messi there through like um like burning on the tv or something you know like when a when when you're playing a game or whatever and like the tv bends like the image into the screen or something like that maybe that could have worked or something but i don't know um it's not half bad to be honest um it's taken me quite a while to get through it. it's about like 20 minutes or something but yeah, guys, you know what? I figured I'm going to read this out. I found, found this on the Some Ordinary Gamers wiki. Um, he is a YouTuber who does, like, scary videos and stuff like that, by the way. So go check him out. I don't know. This this video will probably get taken down one day because, like, of copyright or something. Like, I don't know. The, the copyright owner probably come forth or something. <laughs> you know, whoever made up this story. But, um, you know what? I found it and I figured, you know what? I'm going to share this with you guys because last, last year I wanted to uh, make, like, a FIFA, like, Halloween. Well, well, not, like 
like a FIFA, but like just like a Halloween video, and I couldn't think of anything at all. The only thing I could really think of was maybe I make some scary looking players or something and just play with a really weird looking team or something. Because, you know what I mean, what can you really do with FIFA or PES or just football in general in Halloween? You know what I mean? There's not a whole lot in my opinion, um, especially when it comes to gaming and stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed this um, little video. Let me know what you think. Maybe this could spark, you know, a lot more um, creepy pasta stuff with, with uh, FIFA or maybe even PES, you know what I mean, guys? You know, maybe this, you know, it would be cool for other people to sort of... Uh, you know, make up their own stuff or whatever, you know what I mean? I think I think in, in you know, some creepy pastors out there maybe have turned out to be true. Maybe one or two of them, maybe. Um you know what I mean? But mostly, you know, th this is a, a, is great. You know, it's something that would never happen, of course. You know, I mean, and if it does happen, you know, run run, f run for the hills, man. But, you know, uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do comment, rate, subscribe, and share as always. And I will see you another time in another video. And watch out for Messi. Take care.